today we're reconditioning a 5L40E 5 speed GM uh, shift solenoid. Now, here we have the solenoid pulled apart. We pop the O ring off just so we can slide it out of the canister there. Okay, now we've thoroughly disassembled it now. You can see the little plugs being taken out. The diaphragm has actually got a tear in it. So we'll replace that with a new one. The first stage is to knock out the little cap there out of the out of the end plate and then we actually put the plug on the end of this pin and stretch it out to the original size just so when we're adjusting it this tool here we use to just pop it off lever it off slowly so without damaging it next we get the canister and we use these tools we put that in there and use the punch to just drive it through and that'll straighten it out nicely and shape the, the canister now we get the plastic manifold and we use this tool here we put it in there like so use the punch with the hole in it so it doesn't damage the, where the, uh, the the little retainer for the ball is and we knock that down just make sure it's seated properly after that's been done we get this tool place it in here we take out the manifold and put it in there and we use this little punch you can see we've got three two sleeve lock and we just gently put it in and give it a, a really light punch just not to damage the plastic in three places next stage is to center this little pin so we use this tool here that has a little hole in it that pushes onto that like so we just adjust the centre of that pin like so and you can see the little valve is in there there with the pin sticking out and here we just adjust spin this just to make sure it's centered nicely there's a little bit of movement there but because of the ratio of this from here to here um, a little bit of move a little bit of movement here is making it really good nice and straight we place this end plug just to the side of that hole and put our BATS stamp on the plug before we assemble it remembering that we've knocked out that little plug and straightened it with this basically just tap it in there all the way and then we use this tool here to just pry it pry it off after that's been done we put the plug 
back in as flat as we can use it and just gently tap it in now that plug actually adjusts the solenoid so we'll adjust that after after we put it all back together okay, now using this tool here just to hold the plastic manifold uh, we make sure we get a we've got a new diaphragm rubber there the other one over here has got a rip in it now you'll see there's a little step here you just have to make sure that that o-ring uh, diaphragm just sits nicely and then you just tap it around with your finger just just so you'll feel it pop in okay we put in okay so remember it's been pushed through um, that guide so it's straightened it all out see and inside there there's little lugs that locate on these little slots just so it stops it from moving around so you just make sure that it all fits in a bit hard to do with one hand okay we've put it in and it just sits in that hole there because it sticks through the bottom a little bit this plate in plate here there's a little little step there make sure the step goes up because that locates on this sleeve here where the run uh, the the valve sort of runs through so we put that in with the little step facing up oh it's going around the other way and again the we use the same punch that we drove the that shell through before just to make that plug seat down properly and you can hear it's just seated down properly these have been tested um, heated up just to make sure that they're not failing we just have a visual inspection there make sure everything's okay double check that the, the steps facing up we put the coil in next um, you'll see on the tip of the that little sleeve it's it's a little bit clean we actually put that clean bit down because what um, we try and flip it around the other way because that valve doesn't travel all the way through so by flipping it around it sort of sits in a new spot the reason why that is is you'll see in a moment when I put that in you can see how it just sticks up a little bit above the the coil so that's why it's actually a different color there so we know to, to turn it around 180 degrees you put that bit down next we put the valve in just gently push it down not forget the spring spring in we check that we've got the bat stamp on it on the end plate and the plugs been stretched and put back in put that back in there there we go and now we use this tool which basically because it's got the spring there it's pushing that plate down hard and careful not to damage this coil here we press down and we hit it once there once there and then tap it right around after we've done that you'll find because we can't put the tool here there'll be a little bit at the other end uh, that hasn't been crimped over so what we do 
is we use this tool and we just go around and just tap it gently just so it shapes it nicely and finally we get this big solid piece which we we tap it down and it folds it down and that's basically how we put it back together next we're going to adjust it now we've just used those other tools this tool that tool that one and the solid one to just crimp it down okay this is the adjusting tool and what basically it does that little plug in the end plate is slowly pushed sc screwed into the required depth for uh, the solenoid to operate properly we've got the solenoid in the air tester at 65 psi pressure you can see it's leaking and we just slowly with the air on we slowly turn this screw in and push the plug in until it starts um, to not leak as much that's that's with the air you can hear it just slightly leaking now if we go any more than that it probably uh, it'll go too far and then the solenoid won't be working from the coil so now we'll put the power on and just test it and there it is working with the power on there we go reconditioned a 5L40E transmission shift solenoid uh, same adjustment is done with the 4L60E the PWM and the 32 solenoid now all that's left is to put the rest of these together we've got two trays there that need assembling we've already done one two three four five six seven solenoids and a whole nother tray so 17 and about another 25 odd solenoids to put back together the solenoid is over adjusted if you've gone too far with the adjustment what we do is we get a 532 with a flat fairly flat um, tap there and we just slowly wind it in and as we're still winding in we pull it out and you'll need to reset it with this tool respread the thickness on the and put it back in and readjust it again